Hey everybody, welcome back to some more early morning barking, talking about BPD and MPD by somebody that has both. Uh, don't forget to follow me on socials and stuff like that and hit the subscribe button, please. I like it when you do that. So I brought some stuff to show you today because I was thinking about emotional baggage. Stuff that we carry around with us for ages that probably doesn't serve us all that well. And I have this box here that you can't quite see because of the way my camera set. Look, it's a box. And I've had this box for God knows how long. This is a, a box of sort of significant memory things. You'll see what I mean. So for example, I have, this is my, my first ever uh, pay slip for an alarmingly small amount of money in 1997. That's what that is. And I have my driving test results which had 13 minors, but I passed first time. I've only crashed a few times, and my GCSE results are right there. That's they're my GCSE results. And there's lots of birthday cards and other things, stuff from holidays, this foreign money and that kind of thing. Stuff you would expect to be in a box of this type, right? A lot of it makes sense. A lot of it is good memories that you want to hold on to and mean something. But what the fuck is this, please? This is a small hedgehog driving a car. It looks like... It's almost like a, a Volkswagen Beetle, Beetle, but the hedgehog is too big for it, and he's sort of sat high up on it. It's made out of, I, I think, plaster of Paris. It's actually remarkably well painted. I, I don't know if my camera's going to focus on that. It's not. Sorry. But it's a hedgehog driving a car. And... This has no special significance for me whatsoever. It's a hedgehog driving a car. I think I got this in 1998 on a day out with a couple of friends that I haven't seen since 1998 and a girlfriend that I didn't particularly get on very well with at the time and went to like a crap East Yorkshire whole local seaside town and just had a miserable day. And I ended up somehow with the hedgehog drive. I think it was in one of the machines that you put two pences in. This is not really quite on the level of my driving test results in terms of something significant in my life. This is not attached to a good happy memory or something fun that I did or an achievement of any kind. This is just a hedgehog driving a car. And I've been carrying it for nearly 25 years. This has moved house with me a number of times to a number, God, how many times? Maybe seven more. I don't know. It's a hedgehog driving a car. And it's in the box with everything else. And it adds to the weight. And it's another thing to shuffle through and deal with. And occasionally I might see it and think, oh yeah, that wasn't a very good day. So why have I got fucking hedgehog driving the car? I don't know how this passed the test and made it in, to be perfectly honest with you. This is baggage. This is the physical embodiment of emotional stuff I don't need. It's right here. This is quite, in a way, it's, it's quite odd and magical. I have also here... This is a movie ticket for View in Wakefield. And this is... It's set... Oh, no, Leeds. Sorry. Yeah. View Cinema in Leeds. It says Star Wars Re. 
So I'm thinking it's Star Wars Return of the Sith. And I saw that at 10.20 on the 28th of May 2005 in screen five. I don't care. This is this is more baggage. This is more This is more garbage. I don't have any other Star Wars movie tickets or Star Wars related paraphernalia in this box. I don't care where and when I saw this film. Not on any level. Who did I see it with? I feel like I saw it with Mike Dawson. Maybe Michael Starr. Maybe one of the Mikes. Did we all go as a group? I can't even remember. I honestly can't remember. What is the point of this? What's, it makes you wonder what the point of doing anything is, right? But just, just baggage and crap that clutters up my life. And it's, it's kind of staggering to me how much this is relevant in emotional terms. What this actually means. That I've collected this box and it's... In a way it's like I'm starting to hoard. Like the feeling that every moment of my life can be special and important on some level. And the truth is, it, it's not. It doesn't all have to be. Not every movie you go to see is a significant movie or the best night out with your friends ever or whatever. Sometimes it's just the shit third one in a shitty prequel trilogy. <sighs> the awful movie. The, the one that amuses me is this, right? I don't know what's on this. For the children in the audience, this is a three and a half inch floppy disk. This is what we used to put files on on computers before there was the internet and the cloud which is just the internet with a different name and these hold 1.77 megabytes of data this is a high density floppy disk i'm i'm thinking an app icon on your phone screen is way more than 1.77 megabytes uh i don't know what's on this this could have work files from university or school even or it could have, there'll be no video on it. If there are pictures on it, there'll be like six pictures and they'll be very low quality. Like two megapixel images or something like that. But I don't know if I'll ever know because I don't have a three and a half inch floppy disk drive anymore. I, it's, I, I don't know when I last did. But I feel like Tony Blair was prime minister. Possibly. Yeah, that, that feels right. Second round, not third. It's a floppy disk. This just makes so much sense emotionally, right? How much that goes on in my head is old stuff that I've not managed to let go of. That it doesn't still affect me but I let it still affect me it's still in the box I'm still moving it around with me day after day and yet I know it's crap <laughs> I know it's useless I know it serves no purpose whatsoever and I know it isn't significant in any way at all look here's a pen from the office uh, from my first like proper job like when I first got to be in an office and have a phone and a computer and stuff like that. And that's kind of, that's kind of cool. I'm happy with that. It's got the company logo on it and that sort of thing. That's, that's all right. And I've got things like Alton Towers tickets from Great Days Out. I've got, oh, there's all kinds of stuff. But I've also got a Guinness key ring from a Freshers' Fair one year. Don't know which one, when, where. Which university? I went to several. It's just crap now. It's just like a, once somebody gave me a Guinness key ring for some reason. Probably as an attempt to make me get some Guinness. Actually, as I hold it, it's got a lot of weight to it. That's quite a good key ring. I might actually use that as a key ring. I'm going to leave that out of the box. 
I've got I've not really got a key ring at the moment. It's just like the ring bit with keys on. And that's no way to live your life, is it? So the key now, as I go sifting through this box of memories and ultimately crap. Of Oh god, some of this is very cringeworthy, I'll tell you. I well I won't tell you I'm I stop looking through the box, look. Oh, I need a new box. I think I've made my point, right? You've got a box in your head. It's full of stuff you don't need. Some of it you need, some of it you don't, and you just carry it around and it makes you feel shit. So why are we carrying it around? And we have to learn to let go of this stuff. But ultimately, I have no idea how to let go of this stuff. I have to just keep thinking about the stuff that bothers me and telling myself, that's all right. You don't have to worry about that anymore. And it kind of feels refreshing a little bit when I do that. And... That ultimately makes me feel better and able to do it again. I guess I do know how to cope with that then. Yeah. Okay, I think that sums it up nicely. I'll let you go. I'll get off and try and wonder why there's also a urine sample bottle in that box. Who wanted a urine sample from me? And why was it all right that I ultimately never gave them one? Because I've still got the bottle. It's not full of piss or anything. So I clearly was given the bottle at some point and never did it. But that, that was all right. I'm not constantly getting phone calls for the last 20 years. Go, hey, where's your urine sample? So I, that, one, that one bewilders me a bit. I'll see you later. Bye.